Thank you for talking to us, Mr. Thornburn. How have you found your first term at Millfield Prep School? Uh, thank you, Shun. Uh, I've I've loved it so far. Um, it's it's flown by. It's been uh, it's been a whirlwind. Um, but we've, as a family, we've been made to feel really welcome here, and I've I've loved every minute of it. It's um it's been great. I hope people have enjoyed me being here as much as I have enjoyed being here myself. How have you found living in Somerset? It, it's it's lovely. I, I, I smirk and, and sort of smile a little bit because if you'd have asked me that a few weeks ago, I'd have I'd have said it's not great because for the first two or three weeks it rained every single day. Um, I'm not sure it's always like that in Somerset, but now that the weather's improved, uh, it's been wonderful. We've got um, we've got two dogs who we like to walk around uh, the countryside, and, and the countryside around here is incredible. It's it's beautiful, stunning parts of the world, and also for us we're we're a bit closer to. Um, to friends and, and family who are in the southwest. So yeah, we've, we've loved Somerset so far, it's been great. Has anything surprised you about the school? I think, interestingly, I, and most people will know that Millfield, as, a, as you know, the prep school and the senior school, that we were quite big. Um, and I was a little bit surprised at how easy it was to fit in here. Um, you know, we're not a huge school, but we're, we're fairly big. Um, and I've been made to feel very welcome. I thought that was, Perhaps when I came here, I thought I'd find it hard to, to sort of get to know people and, and find my way around. But um, it's been the opposite of that. It's been really easy to settle in um, and people have been very helpful and, and kind at welcoming me. So that, that was a, a, a really pleasant surprise, actually. Is there anything you're excited to see more of? Yes, I think I've, in, in the first half of term, I've tried really hard to get around the school and be visible and, and get to know people and, and meet lots of the children, all of the children hopefully, and all of the staff. Um, but I'm really excited about getting into lessons a bit more. So far I've dotted in and out, I've been into everything, but only very briefly. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting a bit more stuck in and, and, and really getting involved with the academic side, seeing how, um, how different subjects and different departments uh, approach things. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, I think, probably more than anything else at the moment. How does Milford Prep School differ from other schools that you worked at? It, every school is different, um, obviously, and that's a really obvious answer, but in a way, schools, prep schools, are very similar too. So we're always dealing with children who are amazing and brilliant and fun and can sometimes get things wrong. Um, so we're, we're always dealing with that side of things. Probably the biggest difference from any school I've worked in is just the array of, of stuff that's going on. So whether that's um, the academic side and the, the options of languages that you can take, the music, the, the different instruments, the, the sport, the activities, there is so much on offer here. And that's probably more than any school I've ever worked in. It's, it's just that, um, that vast array of stuff. What has been your standout moment since you've arrived here? That's a really good question because there have been quite a lot. Um, we've, we've done all sorts of brilliant things um, as a school recently. Um, lots of great results on the sports front. But probably the biggest thing for me has been um, the Moana production that we, we were all involved with. I think, in fact, you were certainly in it. Sean, I don't know, maybe you weren't. But I was there, in there, were, there were a lot of children involved, 100 and something, maybe 100, I'm, I'm maybe making this up, 130 children involved in all parts of it. So whether that's acting, dancing, singing, behind the scenes, doing the technical stuff, the sound, uh, and it was a brilliant showcase. We did that um, up at the senior school in their theatre, so it was, it was wonderful. Did you enjoy that, Bella? Yeah, I loved it. Was, it, it, was a, it was a good event, really good highlight for me. If you had to summarise Milford Prep School in three words, what would they be? Well, let, let's see, I could, I could just say full of opportunity, that's, that's three words that I think sum it up, but it's, it's also, it's, it's busy, it's fun, it's energetic, um, it's enjoyable. Uh, I think all of those words would, would go in, but if I had to just pick three, I would, I'd use that phrase, full of opportunity. Finally, are there any certain events that you are looking forward to in the future? Yeah, there, there, well, there's, there's certainly one that I know of that's coming towards the end of the year, and you can probably both tell me a bit more about that. That's in the summer term, I think, and that's the Rock and Pop concert. I've heard that that's, that's a really great day um, and good fun. We've got uh, things like the, um, the celebration of the Jubilee, that's coming up next term as well. Um, we've got uh, some national finals coming up this term, so I'm excited about those. Uh, you're probably both involved in, in those sort of things. So um, there's quite a lot, but I, I probably need my calendar because there are so many things to, to look forward to.